I'm Dan Johnson of Handyman Dan here in Grantsville, Utah. And I purchased this uh, CNC Shark router. And it's got a nice T slot bed on it. But the problem I had when I got it is the bed does not sit level with the head. I had uh, some discrepancy. So what I done is I bought me uh, my uh, sacrifice board down here, a pretty good size one. I use press board and uh, I mounted this down on the, on the in the T-slot so then I used the dial indicator and I, I used my, I mounted this on a quarter inch uh, thing for my, so we'll mount right up into my CNC router and I just run it across horizontally until I got horizontally zeroed and then I uh, run it vertically on the y-axis to get it zeroed and to zero it I'd run it over here and find out this this side was about eight thousand slower and I just tore apart an old feeler gauge and uh, that's what's propping this up over here and uh, eight thousandths here and I think it was ten thousandths in the back and then it zeroed the whole thing up and to continue it you can see I mounted some one by on here so I have a perfect square and I'll show you how I mount stuff on it. Well, since this is my sacrifice board, I really don't want to sacrifice it, so I'm going to add some more sacrifice boards. Big enough for my project. This is what my project's going to be. And then I cut some blocks out. This is just some old scraps I had. I cut a notch in it. And uh, it works good for the clamps, but as you can see, I haven't got nowhere to clamp it up here. The thing that's nice about this is if you get it in the wrong spot and go through it, it doesn't really ruin your router. You can see where I've messed up there. And then this is the original one to come with it. I'm going to put it up here. And what I do is I mark the spots where it goes. I didn't make it. Yeah, that'll work. And then I drill it. I don't know what size this is, but it's the size that fits the plug. So I just drill on that line. Same with up here. And what I do is I bought these at the hardware store. They're a little quarter inch, quarter by 20 threaded insert. And the holes I mounted, I drill them in. I just screw them right down into the my uh, original sacrifice board. And then I just use a, these kind of butt up to hold it. I just use a bolt, just a regular quarter inch bolt. And uh, tighten it down. And then uh, on the edge here, this will do the same thing on that one to hold the original one down. On the edge here, what I've got is when I put these down, I put a, uh, some quarter inch uh, carriage bolts in. And this I made out of a piece of heavy, uh, heavy duty aluminum bar stock. And I just Put a little bit of scrap wood in there. And you can see I've also added threaded inserts. I'm going to add one here a little bit later so I can tie down this corner. And if you look, you can see my other projects here. I've added several wherever I need them. And that's how I solved the problem with the router. It works good. I hold it down. I've got a square here I can use anytime and does a good job.